Hello, my name is Mike Panaki, owner of Network Protocol Specialists. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use a couple of pieces of test equipment to test another piece of test equipment. So in this case, I'm getting ready to go out on a job next week and I need to use a inline full duplex tap. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that this tap is going to pass packets at full line rate, full duplex gig before I put it into the network. This way I know that I'm not putting something into the network that's going to adversely impact that particular client's network. The other thing we're going to test in this video is I may have to tap in line with a fiber connection. So since the tap I have only supports gig copper, I have a couple of media converters I'm going to use. So I want to make sure that those media converters are going to hook up okay and that they're going to be able to pass traffic at full line rate gig as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at our setup right here. So if we come in and we switch over, what we see is I have on this side a NetScout OneTouch ATG2. Now I'm going to use this to send the traffic. Now I'm going to send that traffic through this Garland Technologies full duplex inline fault tolerant tap. So I've got the OneTouch AT G2 connected up to port B of this tap and connected to port A of the tap I have the new NetScout Link Runner G2. Now what I'm doing is I'm running the reflector software on the G2. So because this is a very small self-contained network both of these devices have static IP addresses configured on them. So I've configured a static IP on the Link Runner G2 I've configured a static IP on the OneTouch ATG2. So this allows me to send that traffic through. So let's go over here and we're going to take a quick look at what our configuration looks like on or on our OneTouch ATG2. So here we see our OneTouch ATG2 home screen. So it's going to go through and do some basic tests down here in this lower section. Now, the thing about these basic tests, they're not going to all work in this particular environment because we're just using static IP addresses. What we're, we are interested in is this test right here. So I've gone in and I've added a 1 gig RFC 2544 test. And this test is going to send traffic and look at how many packets we get back. So if we click on that test right here, we click on setup. What we can do is we can look at how have we set this test up. Well one, we've set it up to say that we're using a reflector at the far end. So this reflector is going to take any packets that are sent to it from the OneTouch ATG2 and reflect them back. We've configured the IP address of our reflector. We've left the name just the IP address and we've set our target rate. So in this case we've set our target rate to one gigabit per second. I want to make sure that this can do full line rate, full duplex one gig, and I've set my packet loss limit to zero percent. So what this is saying is if we lose a single packet, this test will fail. So we want to make sure that this tap is going to be able to reflect all the packets through. So let's come down here and we're going to hit test again. Now what's going to happen, it's going to run this test and it's going to send that traffic at full line rate, full duplex, one gig. It's going to look at how many frames were sent and how many were received. So in this case, what we see is that we sent 1.19 million frames and we got back 1.19 million frames and we lost zero. We did not lose one single frame. So that's telling us that we were able to send that traffic at full line rate, full duplex gig, without any packet loss. So that's exactly what we wanted to see out of that case. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to set up the media converters and we're going to use the fiber connections on both the OneTouch ATG2 and on the Link Runner G2. We're going to send that traffic through those fiber connections, go through the media converters, go through the copper, through this tap that we know is going to pass traffic. So I tested the tap first because I wanted to make sure that it was going to work okay. 
Knowing that it's going to work okay, now I can move on with those media converters. All right, so before we get into testing the media converters and the tap together, we need to hook our fiber up. And one of the things that's really important when we're working with fiber optics is that they're clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at how we can inspect and clean the fiber before we hook it up to our test instruments. This will ensure that if there's any packet loss, that we know it's not going to be a problem because of dirty fiber. So let's go in and take a look at our test setup. We have our media converters right here. We have our SFP. We have our copper connection to the tap. We have our fiber. So if we came in, we can take our fiber inspection scope right here. You'll see that over here on the screen, we can kind of see that and we'll zoom in and get a better look at that. But I'm going to put that on the end of that fiber right there. It's going to show us that fiber end face. So let's come over here. Let's take a look at that fiber end face. Okay, so what we find, let's, uh, we'll move that over there, is that that does not look very good at all. And let's switch over and check our other fiber end face. Okay, neither one of these look too good. This is a case where someone probably touched the end of that with their finger. So what I'm going to do is we'll switch back over to the camera. We'll come in here. We're going to take our little fiber cleaning cube. And I'm going to take that cleaning cube. I'm just going to make an end pattern with that. And we're going to come back and we're going to take a look and see how that looks. Okay. So let's bring that back up on the screen. And what we see is that we have a much nicer looking end face. So I'm going to come over. I'm going to inspect the other end face. And that one looks pretty good too. Nothing in the core. Looks great. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that prior to getting any more dirt on this that I take and I connect that right up to that and I connect it up to this end right here. Okay, so now we're all hooked up. I'm going to hit my home button and we're going to go in and we're going to run our test. So let me make a few little changes here. We'll come right back and we'll run that test and we'll see if we can get that speed out of those media converters and the tap. All right, so let's come in and finish up our test. So we tested the tap and we know that the tap can pass full duplex, full line rate gig. We went in, we cleaned the fiber and we got the media converters put in line. So now what I've done is I've set it up so that we're connected with the Link Runner G2 on one side, we've got the One Touch AT G2 on the other. So in this case, we're going to send full duplex, full line rate traffic through using the fiber connections this time instead of the copper connections. So let's switch over to our little test setup here. So we've got the One Touch AT G2 over on this side connected via fiber to our lower media converter, which is going through the tap. We come out of the tap into the upper media converter out via fiber over here to our Link Runner G2. So let's switch over to our screen for our One Touch AT G2. And we're going to come up and we're going to take a look at our test setup. We'll click on our test setup. And so our setup shows again, we're going to the reflector, our reflector's IP address, the name that we're targeting a rate of one gig full duplex, that we are looking for zero loss. So again, if we lose one packet, this test will fail. And we're gonna come over here to our results. We're gonna run this test. So we're gonna hit test again. So now the OneTouch ATG2 is gonna tr send traffic full line right through the media converters, through the tap. And we're gonna find out, can we achieve that throughput we're looking for, and we did. So we were able to achieve this with zero frames lost. So that is fantastic. Now, I'm gonna do one last thing here, and that is I'm gonna pull the power on the tap, okay? So by pulling the power on the tap, we have gone in and we have failed the power. So this is the last part of the test that I wanna do. We're gonna run this test again. So let me go back over here. We'll flip over. So what I've done, I've gone in and I've shut off the power on the tap. 
So we're going to run our throughput test. We're going to find out if that works. So I got a little green check mark right there on my test. Let's go back. We'll tap our test. Let's take a look at our screen there. Let's see what we got. So in this case, we found out that we passed. So if we come over and we look, we see zero frames lost. Just to make sure, we're going to hit test again. So what's this telling us? This is telling us that even if we lose power to that tap, that that tap is going to continue to pass packets. Now, unfortunately with the media converters, they're not. So they do add a, a failure point if we put those in. But what we find is we're able to send those packets through that tap powered off and we see zero lost packets. So I know I'm not putting a failure point into the network by putting that tap in. There's our test setup. So what do we get out of this? I know that when I put this equipment in my bag, that it is going to work. I know that when I put it into my client's network, I am not putting something in that's going to slow down their network. I know that the SFPs I have are working properly. I know that the fiber patches that I'm bringing are working properly. I know that the copper works and I know that the tap works. So this is why we want to go in and test this equipment prior to taking it out in the field. We want to know that our test equipment is working exactly as it should. So I'd like to thank you for watching this little video, and I hope that you found this information useful.